Imagine a country known for its beautiful landscapes, rich history, and vibrant culture. Portugal, with its stunning beaches and historic cities, attracts millions of tourists every year and is a dream for many immigrants seeking a better life. This small European country has had a huge influence on the formation of other nations, spreading its language and culture across various continents during the Age of Discovery. However, behind this charming facade, there are dark stories of exploitation and disillusionment. African workers face abusive working conditions, while many immigrants encounter a harsh reality upon arriving in search of opportunities. In this video, we will unveil the contradictions of Portugal, exploring how such a welcoming country can conceal such injustices. Prepare to discover the hidden secrets of Portugal, a country of great beauty, rich history, and profound social challenges. To better understand the nuances of Portugal, it is essential to know its geography. Located in the southwest of Europe on the Iberian Peninsula, Portugal is bordered by Spain to the east and north, while the west and south are bordered by the Atlantic Ocean. With a total area of approximately 92,090 square kilometers, it is one of the smallest countries in Europe, but its influence extends far beyond its borders. Portugal has a population of about 10.3 million people, mainly concentrated in the metropolitan areas of Lisbon, the capital, and Porto, the second largest city. The country has a variety of landscapes, from the golden plains of Alentejo to the verdant mountains of the north. The climate varies from Mediterranean in the south to temperate in the north, with hot, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. Portugal is also known for its Atlantic islands, the Azores and Madeira archipelagos. These autonomous regions not only contribute to the country's geographical diversity, but are also popular tourist destinations due to their volcanic landscapes and mild climate. Geopolitically, Portugal is a member of the European Union, the Eurozone, and the Community of Portuguese Language Countries, CPLP. Its strategic location at the entrance to the Mediterranean has made Portugal an important passageway and a center of commerce and exploration during the Age of Discovery. However, despite its privileged location and rich history, Portugal faces significant challenges in terms of economic and social development. Understanding Portugal's geography is crucial to appreciating the richness of its history. Portugal has a long and fascinating journey that dates back to prehistoric times, with traces of human occupation dating back thousands of years. However, it was during the Middle Ages that Portugal began to stand out. In 1139, the county of Portugal declared independence from the Kingdom of Leon, and Dom Afonso Henriquez became the first king of Portugal. In 1143, independence was formally recognized by the Treaty of Zamora. The Reconquista, which lasted until 1249, expanded the Portuguese territory to the south, driving out the Moors and consolidating the kingdom. The 15th century marked the beginning of the Age of Discovery, a period of exploration and global expansion. Under the command of navigators like Vasco da Gama and Pedro Álvarez Cabral, Portugal established sea routes to India, Brazil, and other parts of Africa and Asia, creating a vast colonial empire. During this period, Portugal became a global power with significant influence on the formation of other countries, especially in Brazil and various African and Asian nations. However, Portugal's power began to decline in the late 16th century when the country entered a dynastic union with Spain. Independence was restored in 1640, but the empire never regained its former splendor. Wars, territorial losses, and increasing competition from other European powers contributed to the decline of Portuguese influence. The 19th century brought more turbulence, with Napoleonic invasions and a civil war that resulted in the establishment of a constitutional monarchy. In 1910, the monarchy was abolished 
and the first Portuguese Republic was established, but it was marked by political instability. In 1926, a military coup installed a dictatorship that lasted until 1974 when the Carnation Revolution restored democracy. Since then, Portugal has worked to modernize and integrate into the European community. Joining the European Union in 1986 brought significant economic benefits but also challenges. Portugal's history is a story of resilience and adaptation, of a small country that has left an indelible mark on the world. Portugal's rich history and diverse geography make it a charming tourist destination, attracting visitors from all around the world. With a combination of natural beauty, historical heritage, and vibrant culture, Portugal offers unforgettable experiences for all types of travelers. Let's start with Lisbon, the capital. This city is a fascinating mix of tradition and modernity, with its cobblestone streets, historic buildings, and lively nightlife. Must-see attractions include the Balem Tower, the Geronimo's Monastery, and the iconic Alfama District, where you can listen to traditional Fadu music in authentic music houses. Porto, Portugal's second largest city, is famous for port wine and its picturesque riverside area, Ribera. Essential activities include visiting the port wine cellars in Vila Nova de Gaia, taking a boat tour along the Douro River, and exploring the Lelo Bookstore, considered one of the most beautiful in the world. The Algarve, in southern Portugal, is known for its stunning beaches, golden cliffs, and charming towns. Destinations like Lagos, Albufeira, and Faro offer a mix of seaside relaxation and vibrant nightlife. For nature lovers, the Ria Formosa, a natural reserve of lagoons and islands, is a paradise for bird watching and boat tours. The Alentejo region, with its golden plains and historic towns, is perfect for those seeking tranquility and an authentic experience. The city of Avora, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, charms with its Roman ruins and medieval architecture. The Azores and Madeira archipelagos are natural treasures of Portugal. The Azores, with their volcanic landscapes, crater lagoons, and green fields, are ideal for ecotourism and outdoor adventure. Madeira, known as the Island of Eternal Spring, offers mild weather all year round, spectacular trails like the Lavada dos 25 Fontes and the vibrant capital Funchal. For food lovers, Portugal is a true paradise. Traditional dishes like bacalhau, cod, caldo verde, green broth, and pastiest de nata custard tarts are just a few of the delicacies visitors can enjoy. Additionally, Portuguese wines, including Vinho Verde and Port Wine, are renowned worldwide. While enjoying all these wonders, it's important to remember that tourism in Portugal should be sustainable and respect local communities. Many destinations are adopting practices to preserve their cultural and natural heritage, ensuring that future generations can continue to enjoy all that Portugal has to offer. And speaking of traveling, did you know there's a way to get cheaper flights to any destination in just three minutes? Cheaper than the flights you spend days searching for and comparing prices? There's a free website that explains how it works. To find out, just click on the link in the first pinned comment. After watching this video, hurry over to check it out.
Portugal's economy is diverse and has undergone several transformations over the past few decades. From a country that primarily depended on agriculture and fishing, Portugal has modernized and now boasts varied economic sectors, including tourism, services, industry, and technology. Tourism is one of Portugal's main sources of revenue. Cities like Lisbon, Porto, and regions like the Algarve and Madeira attract millions of visitors annually, significantly contributing to the economy. In 2019, before the COVID-19 pandemic, tourism accounted for about 15% of Portugal's GDP. Although the pandemic severely impacted the sector, Portugal has shown resilience and is recovering its role as one of Europe's most sought-after tourist destinations. Industry also plays a crucial role in the Portuguese economy. Sectors such as textiles, footwear, automobiles, and electronic components are important exporters. The production of wine, particularly the famous port wine, is a centuries-old tradition that continues to be a vital part of the country's economy. In terms of technology and innovation, Portugal has emerged as a hub for startups and technology companies. Lisbon, in particular, has attracted significant investments in the technology sector, aided by international events like the Web Summit. This growth in the technology sector has helped diversify the economy and create new job opportunities. The average monthly income in Portugal is around 1,000 euros to 1,200 euros, approximately 1,100 US dollars to 1,300 US dollars, with significant variations depending on the sector and region. The cost of living also varies, with Lisbon and Porto being more expensive compared to other areas of the country. For example, the average monthly cost of food for one person is around 200 euros to 300 euros, approximately 220 US dollars to 330 US dollars, while renting a one-bedroom apartment in central Lisbon can cost about 800 euros to 1,200 euros, approximately 880 US dollars to 1,320 US dollars per month. Despite its image as a welcoming country and its economic advancements, Portugal faces several controversial issues that affect both its population and its international reputation. One of the most critical issues is the exploitation of labor, especially African immigrants. Many of these workers come to Portugal attracted by the promise of better living conditions but end up facing a very different reality. They are often employed in sectors such as agriculture and construction, where they work long hours in precarious conditions for very low wages. Reports of abuses, lack of formal contracts, and inadequate housing conditions are common. These practices have drawn severe criticism from human rights organizations and placed the country under international scrutiny. The disillusionment of immigrants seeking a better life in Portugal is another significant issue. Many arrive with high expectations but encounter difficulties integrating into Portuguese society. The job market can be hostile, with high levels of unemployment in certain sectors and language barriers that make it difficult to obtain skilled jobs. Additionally, complex bureaucracy for obtaining residence and work documents, as well as racial and ethnic discrimination, further aggravate the situation. Corruption is another problem plaguing Portugal. Although the country has made progress in combating corruption, cases of political and business corruption continue to emerge. Scandals involving high government officials and businessmen have shaken public confidence in institutions and the political system. The lack of transparency and perceived impunity in some cases have been a source of frustration for citizens. Housing is a contentious issue in Portugal, especially in major cities like Lisbon and Porto. Increased tourism and the influx of foreign investors have inflated property prices, making them unaffordable for many local residents. This has led to an exodus of residents to the outskirts and a growing housing crisis, with many struggling to find adequate and affordable housing. Additionally, the economic crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic exposed and exacerbated many of these issues. Small businesses closed, unemployment rose, and many families faced unprecedented financial difficulties. The recovery has been slow and uneven, 
exacerbating existing inequalities. Finally, the tension between economic progress and environmental sustainability is an area of ongoing debate. Portugal has made advances in renewable energy and sustainability, but still faces significant challenges in managing its natural resources and protecting its environment. Infrastructure and development projects often conflict with environmental preservation, generating controversies and opposition from environmental groups. Despite significant challenges, Portugal is making notable progress on several fronts. The movement to improve conditions for immigrant workers is gaining momentum, with new legislation and policies being implemented to ensure fair wages and dignified working conditions. Efforts to increase the supply of affordable housing and regulate the real estate market are underway, aiming to provide adequate housing for all. Social and cultural integration programs are helping immigrants settle and contribute to Portuguese society. The fight against corruption and for transparency is advancing with new laws and oversight mechanisms. In the field of sustainability, Portugal continues to be a leader in renewable energies, investing in solar, wind, and hydroelectric power. The community spirit and hospitality of the Portuguese people are powerful forces driving the country forward. With determination and joint efforts, Portugal is on the path to overcoming its challenges and building a fairer and more prosperous future. Now tell us what you thought of everything you discovered about Portugal. Would you like to visit or live in this country? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to click on the link in the first pinned comment. Now watch how life is in Denmark.